Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Coach Matt Dennis, and we're going to take a look at how we can get better as coaches, some team building ideas and activities, and some X's and O's that you can put in your practice today to make your team better. The first thing I want to talk about is player short-term memory. How are they transitioning from either a mistake they made or possibly a great play they made into whatever needs to be done at the other end of the floor or the next play? So are they forgetting about a basket and getting right into the press? Are they forgetting about a turnover and coming back and playing hard defense? We need our players to have short-term memory. Now, make sure that they're living in the present, not in the past all the time. And this is something you got to constantly remind them of. Because otherwise, they'll live in the past so much that, unfortunately, they're going to be thinking about the last play that they made poorly, not the next play that they need to make great. All right, so get them to forget about those mistakes. One way that we can do this is at halftime. How are we treating our players? If we're playing poorly, are we going in and we're constantly yelling at them and beating them down because they've played bad? Or are we going to lift them up and encourage them, tell them that you expect more of them, tell them that we're doing well in this area and we need to make sure that it translates into another area? Find something on that stat sheet that says we're playing well and emphasize that. doesn't mean you can't correct them. It doesn't mean you can't get on them. But to tell them how bad they are or how poor they're playing it's really just going to make things worse. The second half isn't going to be a whole lot better, but you certainly can get on them and challenge them to be better players because you know they can be. The next thing is, what about when they're super high? Things are going great. Do we just continue to add to that and put them up at an even higher pedestal? Or are we taking that same stat sheet and are we finding areas we need to improve on? Our rebounding margin isn't where it needs to be. We're shooting a poor free throw percentage. Uh, our assist to turnovers is too close, or maybe uh, it's not where your team goal is. But bring them back down a little bit. Help them understand how we can improve even when we're playing well. So if they're down, let's pick them up a little bit and expect more out of them. If they're up, let's bring them down but not in a bad way, in a way to challenge them again to make them play better and focus on those little things. So make sure that we're doing this at halftime. You'll see a huge difference when you come out in the second half, more focused on what you want them to do, what they need to accomplish, and hopefully more together so that they can accomplish it when they're on the court. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a game we can do in our practice, uh, just a team building idea. It's called the balloon ball. And what you do is you're going to partner your players up, have them sit on the floor or in the gym, have them sit on the gym floor, and put their feet together. You'll have a third person or a coach go ahead and drop a balloon in between them. The goal is to hit the balloon over top the player's head and have it hit the floor. So players will be kind of leaning one way or bending back, try to get this, and hit the balloon over to their teammate. Count the number of times that that balloon hits the floor, and you're going to have a winner and a loser. Then you're going to take all the players on one side and have them count theirs up. And you'll have all the players on the other side count the times that they were able to get the balloon to hit the floor. And as a team, collectively, you're going to see if you beat one group over the other, if you did a better job. This is going to help us understand that our individual performance is important because we want to win those little battles. But it's also going to tell us that the group as a whole needs to perform well at the their job at their specific task this is the same thing that happens on the offensive and defensive end if one or two people know what they're doing but the rest don't or they don't try hard or they're not willing to give it their extra effort you're going to find as a team you're going to end up losing more than you're going to end up winning just a simple example only takes two or three minutes to do this but you can start that conversation and get them thinking about how can they be a better teammate and make sure they're focusing on the right thing and trying uh, to get whatever goal that you've set accomplished for that day. So something real easy is the, the balloon ball. Now let's take a look at some early offense. And early offense is a great way to, to come down and try to get something real quick. And I want to show you a play that you might be able to implement right away and get some points out of this. So the first thing we have is we have our one who's coming down and when they come – as they come down the floor, we want to take the ball over to the right. That's going to be the cue for two. It's going to be coming off of the screen by our five and our four, right in this area. So our two is going to be taking the long way coming around here. So this is our first option. We've got a pass to the two. 
Now, our second option is after that happens is R3 is going to come down and is going to get ready to set a screen for R5. So the 5 has set that screen. The 5 is going to be coming back around, and he's really waiting for 1 to pass the ball to 2, and 2 is going to come over and is going to be taking a look right here to see if that 5 is open. The two, if it's not five, not open, two is going to continue because we've got our four continuing down to set a ball or set a screen for our three. So we'll screen the screener action and it's going to come right up the middle. So our two has two great options. We have the option of getting it down into the post or we've got a three point play right here by our three coming up. So an early offense play. Not super hard once you get that two out of there, get the ball to the two, have him dribble over to the other side of the floor. That sets up an action for a post up from five and also a down screen for our three coming up for a three pointer. So, coach, hopefully, this is something that you can use, implement right away, score some more points. And I look forward to talking to you in our next coach's corner. Thanks.